When we started looking at this tooth about 10 years ago, to our utter amazement, we discovered that there were sensory endings on an eight-foot tusk that basically added up to about six million nerve endings, or what we would consider a nerve ending. And to think of a, a tooth or a tusk that's this sensitive to its environment, we started exploring different options as to what it might be sensitive to. So at the current time, what we're looking at is stimulating the tusk with high salt solutions and alternating them with fresh water, and also monitoring things like brain activity, heart rate, and sound, but particularly heart rate now, because we've gotten a very positive association between the stimulation, particularly with high salt concentrations, and increased heart rate. So if we can get one variable like this, it will show us indeed that the tooth has sensory capabilities. And then after that, we can look at more specific variables to see what in particular the tooth is sensitive to. But so far, the tooth appears to have this sensory function, which uh, really no one to date has kind of come up with. There's all sorts of theories about this tusk, and this is one in a series of those types of theories. And indeed, it could be multifunctional, so it could have the hierarchical capabilities that people have talked about in the past, or it could be sensory component for one function and then have a completely different function in a different way. So we're not looking for one particular function as much as trying to just follow the lead of this sensory approach. And so far, we think it's very conclusive and positive that uh, it does have these sensory capabilities.